Come on, come on, I wanna see what happens. Just cause I had a nightmare about a church doesn't mean my hand's gonna go through the mirror. Oh, I got a phone call from uh, Stephen Bay. He wants us to do spiders. Now back to the mirror. Welcome to another edition of Frightfully Forgotten's Trash or Treasure. As you can see, I'm the treasure. I'm clearly the trash. Dorned to ribbons. Today we have another patron request. This is requested by Stephen Bay, and he wanted us to cover 2000's Spiders. Stephen Bay actually has a podcast of his own called the Analog Jones Podcast, which we were guests on a couple yeah. of months ago. So yeah. we'll put a link to that in the description. This movie is directed by Gary Jones, who also directed Crocodile 2. <laughs> Death Swamp. Death Swamp. <laughs> <laughs> and Boogeyman 3. <laughs> Lana Perilla is in this. Plays the starring role. Mark Phelan is in this. He's uh, in The Hidden, just to mention one horror movie that he's in. So Spider starts off with all these guys at NASA. They're about to launch this shuttle, doing some experiments up in space where they got these spiders, injecting these spiders with some sort of serum. We're not quite sure what's in this serum yet. <laughs> then one of the spiders gets kind of loose, it bites one guy, and hell starts to break loose. The guy <laughs> getting all bubbly and <laughs> we're then introduced to our main character Marcy who is a journalist at a college newspaper super into like UFOs and conspiracy theories this couple shows up who claim to be aliens and she's kind of like egging them on and believes yeah. their story and we're finding it hard to adjust to life on earth then her editor shows up boots these guys yeah. out like, you can't <laughs> let these people in here he tells her just to stick to her story she's supposed to cover which is the shuttle that got launched. Her and two friends decide to like break into this NASA secured area. Area 21. Yeah. <laughs> her friends are like, come on, let's go. You're not gonna find anything here. Then she gets a call from her boss saying, where have you been? Like, it's all over the news. The shuttle burned up in the atmosphere and you're not here to cover it. So I'm gonna get someone else to cover it. You're fired. They're about to leave. And as they're about to hop the fence, they see the shuttle come down. It's all slow and, yeah. and it crashes <laughs> right basically in front of them. They get into the shuttle and this is where we see the havoc that's been wreaked by these spiders. Yeah. And everybody's all bubbled up. <laughs> Ooh, man, that guy's jacked up. <laughs> Jack, he's torn to pieces. <laughs> Jack. Fucking spiders had a day on him. The military shows up right away. The paramedics show up too. They want to actually help this guy. Commanding officer says no, like, he's coming with us. Just pulls out his gun and shoots him. Marcy and her two friends see what's going on and they hide in the back of one of these trucks. And then they end up dumping all these bodies on top <laughs> yeah. of them and everything. They take the bodies into this compound and Marcy and her friends get out of the truck and they try and find out what's going on. They come into this room, like this evidence room, and one of them is an alien. Little baby alien. Yeah, and it looks like the one from X-Files. They stumble upon the room that the guy was taken to. He starts asking for help again, yeah. you know, help me. <laughs> this giant spider comes out of the guy's mouth it like breaks open his face yeah you see his chin all come down the spider just shoots out running amok and all these people come in to try and see what's going on and to help and the spider starts killing all these people in the room this spider starts killing all the people in the compound one at a time basically marcy ends up escaping with the help of one of the military guys and they go back to marcy's office where the commander guy is waiting for them, and that's where we're gonna end it. So if you want to see what happens with Marcy and that commander guy, keep watching Spiders. So, Spiders, is it trash or treasure? Well, that'll lead us to the treasure part of this movie. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. This movie is just, you know, balls to the walls, camp from start to finish. It doesn't take itself too seriously and therefore you don't take it seriously. You just have a fun time watching it. Right, they know what they're doing. It actually feels a lot like a modern day Roger Corman film. You know, it's kind of low budge, but they're doing the best they can 
with the budget they got, which is what Roger Corman was notorious for. Yeah. And the sets for this movie is really good, too. You believe every setting that these people are in, right? From yeah. Marcy's office to that military compound outside where the yeah. NASA shuttle landed. And inside, too. Yeah, it doesn't look cheap. It looks like they're really there. Like the NASA command center is like, oh, mm -hmm. fuck, that's all this real equipment. And yep. that underground base, like, that. what a great setting. And yep. it's, I don't know where they shot it, but it looks like they shot it at a real military underground base. Obviously, they had to get some permits or something to shoot in these places. The kills in this movie are pretty good too. And they're all, of course, spider related, yeah. right? And the spider uses what he's got, catching people in the web and then climbing over them. You see the, the pinchers pierce the flesh. Whoever gets bitten gets spiders coming out of them too, yeah, right? Which yeah. is cool. Which is super cool. Because the spider might not kill outright, but more spiders are gonna pop out of you, kind of like alien. Yeah, you know? yeah, and that will kill you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The acting in this was surprisingly good. You know, it's not great acting, but it's good for what it is. For the most part, fairly believable acting, considering it's such an unbelievable situation that they're in, right? <laughs> and the pacing is great for this movie. Non-stop, basically, and it keeps escalating. It doesn't plateau anywhere. It just keeps building and building till the final scene. Crazy, like you never <laughs> yeah. imagined this movie to end like that. <laughs> That's right. Hanging off a helicopter with bazookas and all this stuff. Yeah. Like, whoa! What it's... the fuck? <laughs> From spiders to a helicopter shooting bazookas yeah. and shit. Like, what the <laughs> exactly. hell? The comedy works pretty well in this movie too, right? It's not so crazy and over-the-top stupid comedy. It's yep. the odd joke here and there. And then they use the context of the movie as... Comedy. It's the comedy. The campiness too, right? is the comedy, right? Yeah, so it works pretty well. Yeah. yeah, there's not many outright jokes, but it's more the situation. People, you know, getting torn up by the spider, that's the comedy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The practical effects in this movie are surprisingly very, very good. Yeah. Like, you know, when the guys get bit by the spider and they're all bubbled up, that bladder effect, they call it. <laughs> and, you know, the spider, like, when it's a practical spider, it looks good. Like, when that spider busts out of the guy's oh, face. that's fucking amazing. It looked really good. And creepy worthy too, yeah. like so good that you're like, oh, yeah. damn. That segues us into the trash of this movie, which is the effects. The other end of the effects. <laughs> exactly. The shitty CGI. Oh. Ah. So bad. <laughs> and the fact that there's a great practical effects and really bad CG effects in the same scene. It stands out like a sore thumb. Yeah. Like when the spider comes out of the guy's face, it looks great, and then it cuts to some CG version of it climbing onto walls yeah, and everything. Like, like, what? what are you guys doing? <laughs> like, obviously you had everything there for the practical effect. Why don't you just find a way to do that yeah. practically? When the shuttle crashes and it's all exploding, yeah. there's that really bad, like, just plopped on top of the shuttle explosions. You can see yeah. all that, it's just, oh, it's so bad. <laughs> it's like painted on. Yeah, basically drawn on, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. A lot of that shit takes away from the movie. As soon as you see something so blatantly fake, it takes you out yeah. of the movie. Especially when it's in the same scene as a good practical yeah. effect. It's like, it's they're butting at each other, right? They're just butting heads. Uh, almost rather have been all practical or all CG because mm -hmm. it just it doesn't work like this. Exactly. It doesn't yeah. fit. It doesn't even seem like you're watching the same movie. If it was all shitty CGI, at least you could have a good laugh. Yeah. Right? It's like, look how bad that is. But instead, you're saying how bad it is and it's like it's not funny like if Jurassic Park was the perfect example of how to use practical and CG together to make it look flawless this is the <laughs> opposite version of how not to do it <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> The dialogue in this movie is pretty poor. Not well written. People really don't speak like this in real life. You know, the actors actually did a pretty good job delivering this poor dialogue. <laughs> yeah. And it falls into the trap of like these kinds of movies too, right? Oh my God, what the fuck is going on here? We need to get the fuck out of here. Like. There's too much fucking swearing. <laughs> As you're swearing. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't mind a lot of swearing in a movie, but it needs to be, like... It needs to fit properly, needs to fit. right? Yeah, it needs to fit. To constantly be saying what the fuck is going on here, 
that's just piss poor yeah. writing. Yeah, you can't think of a different line. Yeah, they know what's going on. They yeah. don't need to say that. Now, this is a hard one because it's one of the kind of charms of the movie is the plot. It's actually a really stupid plot. It's, <laughs> yes. it's really dumb. So that aspect of it is trash, but the fact that they're able to actually deliver it in is a fun it? way is the treasure. So the plot is kind of... It, it's, it's, borders, on, right? it's on both sides, right? But it's a pretty stupid plot. Like, why do you need to take spiders up to space so you can inject them with this special DNA? <laughs> yeah. Can't you just do it in the lab? Yeah, well, they explain it, but yeah. it's still kind of stupid. It's stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The ending is pretty stupid, too, in this yeah. movie. Like, it's so over the top slash ridiculous that it's trashy. Marcy takes a bazooka, which she's never shot before in her life. Hanging off of a helicopter. Yeah. <laughs> like she ends up getting like a bullseye right on the fucking spider. Like... Right down the throat? <laughs> yeah, right. You never shot a bazooka <laughs> in your life. You got this great aim. No kickback. Yeah, right? yeah, nothing. She even tells him she doesn't know if she can do this. He's all, oh yeah, you'll do fine. It's like... <laughs> So it's a fun ending, but it, it is completely unbelievable. <laughs> right. And like the fact that the spider still on the loose, still on the loose, climbing these big skyscrapers, the military isn't doing anything about it. <laughs> so this woman who's a reporter has to take it upon herself yeah. to get on this helicopter and kill this spider. Like, aren't there people paid to do it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Bring in the National Guard or something. Like, more qualified people. <laughs> people that can take care of this shit, you know? And the movie uh, makes fun of Canada too, right? They're, they're like doing that procedure in space and oh, where's this piece of equipment from? It's it's from Canada. Oh, well that figures. For that reason, we gotta put that in the trash pile and making fun of Canada. Yeah. And we make some good stuff. Yeah, yeah. Not sure what exactly, but... Maple syrup. <laughs> Ooh, oh, yeah. yeah. So, Overall, Spiders from 2000, is it trash or treasure? It's treasure. I'll have to vote treasure too. Because it's a lot of fun, and yeah. it knows what it is, and it's just a, a romp. It's it, not an intellectual piece no, here, you know? No. <laughs> so if you're looking for something very fun, just to throw on TV and, and laugh at and not take too seriously, and have a couple of drinks with some pals, it's a good, like, frat movie. Like, yeah. it's something you picture watching in college with your buddies and having a good laugh about but it is super 2000 yep. like the glasses the super 2000s glasses and what everyone's wearing is like oh man it takes me back to stigmata yeah oh. <laughs> so until next time keep drinking and watch out for them spiders mm -hmm.